so volcanoes have kind of been creeping up and around some pretty interesting places in the world. Uh, so I'm giving you guys the sixth place, France decklist. Um, Cordero got it first, figured I'd go ahead and talk about it briefly, uh, since you guys have been wanting different meta-esque things. So, for this particular deck, of course, three Volcanic Rocket, uh, recruiting for the new trap card. Um, this, you can see this build does not play any copies of the spell, um, and none of that Wildfire BS either. Uh, two Royal, Royal Firestorm Guards, general recycle ability, uh, something that this deck really does enjoy, uh, returning all them Pyro Monsters back to the deck, drawing two guards. It's part of Everest on wheels. Of course, two fire, two ice hands, triple volcanic counter, uh, triple volcanic scatter shot, and triple volcanic shell. Uh, one of the cool things about a deck like this and a format such as this is a lot of players don't understand how to interact with older cards. And I really didn't see this much um, until more recently, but a lot of older players, or excuse me, a lot of newer players don't understand. Um, what Fossil Dino Pachycephalo does, and all the things like that. So, not knowing how to play against Volcanic Counter and things like Magic Cylinder is actually very metagame breaking. Uh, one Foolish Burial, triple Duality, triple MST, and one Snatch Steel. His traps, two Mind Crush from just massive blowout, one Bottomless, one Ceasefire, two Magic Cylinder, two Phoenix Wing Wing Blast, one Compulse, one Emptiness, triple Blaze Accelerator Magazine, and of course, one Warning. The extra deck one Slacker Magician, uh, Reps, Cowboy, Dweller, Emerald, Two Chains, Excite Knight, Diamond Dyer, Castell, 101, Black Ship, Ragna, Karagorgon, and of course Dark Rebellion. This side deck two Flying Seas for that stupid Burning Abyss matchup, two Max C for that Burning Abyss matchup, two DD Crow, one Burial, two Ojama Trio, two Fairy Wind, two Light, and two Shadow Imprisoning Mirror wraps up this deck profile. So guys, like I said, um, for older decks like this to resurface, um, you know, you actually have a pretty decent matchup against some of the meta as long as you know what you're doing yourself. So guys, leave a comment down below, tell me you guys think about this deck, and congrats, Merwin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support, and please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard. M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.